This is CKZO TV News. There is growing controversy over a material commonly used by dentists to fill teeth. It's called amalgam and it contains mercury. The Canadian Dental Association says it is safe. But Gar Lewis talked to one dentist in Huntsville who disagrees. For about a dozen years now, Huntsville dentist Dr. Jim Jenkinson hasn't used amalgam in his practice. He's firmly convinced the mercury content can cause a number of health problems for his patients. Jenkinson says he can't understand why Canadian dental associations are defending its use when a number of international research studies confirm a health risk does exist. I would like the Health and Welfare Canada or whoever is in charge of determining these types of materials to look at them all, look at the whole variety of materials that are used, implanted in people's mouths in the dental profession and determine that these have a level of safety, that all of them have been tested and that there's an understanding that they are safe for long-term use in, in the body. The Canadian Dental Association, however, and the Ministry of National Health and Welfare say there's little evidence that the health of the vast majority of people with amalgam fillings is at risk. Dr. Terry Hicks, the Director of Dental Services for Muskoka and Simcoe County, agrees. Based on the scientific evidence that we have now, they should not be concerned about the mercury fillings. Uh, we have to separate conjecture from science. And conjecture would say there may be a problem, and science says, having looked at this scientifically, we don't see a problem. But nobody can convince York Regional Police Officer Monica Lees that amalgam hasn't been the cause of her health problems. She was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome two years ago. And when her doctor told her about a possible link to her amalgam fillings, she decided to have them all removed. On top of that, I decided, well, I'm going to start doing research. So I went down to the medical library in Toronto, took a whole bunch of other books and started reading. And I firmly, firmly believe that mercury poisoning from my fillings has attributed to my disease or even has caused it. Lee says she's now well on the way to recovery, but the debate over amalgam continues and for the time being it appears to be up to the patient to decide what their dentist should or shouldn't be using to fill those cavities. In Huntsville, Carl Lewis, CKCO TV News. The Health Protection Branch of Health Canada is currently conduct conducting a risk assessment study of mercury and fillings. It will issue a report next month.